A point object of mass m hangs from the ceiling of a car from a massless string of lengths l and is observed to make an angle theta from the vertical as the car accelerates uniformly from rest. Find the acceleration of the car in terms of theta, mass, length of string, and gravity constant. Okay, so I'm going to draw the fourth body diagram. And since the given figure is big enough, I'm just going to draw on top of it. And the tension is uh, along the string. And we have a force of gravity that negates our tension. In other words, it, when it's initially at rest, the T equals mg. However, the car is experiencing the acceleration. Therefore, uh, we have distorted tension along the string now. The force of gravity is still the same, mg. And the, the motion of our ball is toward this way and that negates with our force of the car the, the acceleration of the car toward this way and we are, since we are um, really, really interested in the acceleration of the car so I'm gonna redraw really that here in the fourth body diagram okay so so how do we find the acceleration of the car. Well, since we completed the free body diagram, we can split this into x and y components. I have y component and x component. The acceleration is undergoing in our x component. So ultimately, I'm gonna have a car on the right side and that's equal to the big M, the mass of the ball. The, the acceleration of the car is equivalent to the acceleration of the ball it's undergoing and let's see we have we have to find the tension in Y uh, in X and then Y. So let me draw the bigger diagram. So here's our tension. And here is our angle, given angle theta. And since it's a right triangle, we can find the x component and y component. So T Y is basically the cosine theta because it's adjacent, it's located adjacent to our angle times the hypotenuse T. So T cosine theta. And for our tension along the x-axis is its opposite angle, therefore I'm gonna have T sine theta. Okay. I'm gonna write that down in our fourth net. So y goes here. T cosine theta equal mass times gravity. Notice how the force due to gravity is canceling out with t times cosine theta which is the upward direction. So mass and times the gravity. And then on our x-axis we're gonna have t sine theta, just plug it in here. And I'm gonna declare this to be our first equation and that to be my second equation. And to find A, all I have to do is divide equation one from equation two. So I have two over one, and two we have t sine theta equal m, and then the acceleration of the car. And then the first equation I have T cosine theta and mg. Now notice that mass cancel out. T 
cis cancel out, sine theta over cosine theta is simply tangent theta, and then just multiply constant g on both sides. And therefore, I have the acceleration of the car, and that is g tangent theta.